In this video, I'm going to look at esters. So we'll start with naming some esters and then we'll look at how to make esters and I'll do a quick recap of AS uh, knowledge. So that's making esters from carboxylic acids and alcohols. And then I'll take it into A2, making of esters, where we use something called an acid anhydride. So we'll start by looking at the functional group of an ester. So we've got this R group and then a C double bond or single bond or connected to another R group. Now these R groups can be the same or they can also be different. And this R group here could be a hydrogen. This R group can't be a hydrogen because if that was a hydrogen then you would just have a carboxylic acid. So you can see in the three Molly model kits I've got on the board there, we've got the functional group R group, C double bond or single bond or R group. We've got the same going on here. I'll just orientate it so it mirrors this. R group, so you can see there, there's the H R group, C double bond or single bond or R group. And again, just turn it around. We've got the same going on there. So we'll name these three and we'll put the names on the board. So when we're naming them, we need to look at the R group that's attached to the single bonded oxygen. So the way I've positioned these esters here, that's the R group on the right hand side. So we've got a methyl group here. And then we look at the other part of the molecule. So methyl, one, two, this is called methyl ethanoate. We'll do this one now. So this R group here is an ethyl group. Ethyl, 1, 2, ethanoate. And we look at this one now. So we've got, this is a benzene ring which is missing in hydrogen. So this is a phenyl group. Phenyl, 1 carbon, methanoate. So we'll just have a quick look at how to make a couple of those esters. So we'll start with this one, methyl ethanoate. We'll do a quick recap of what we learn at AS. So to make esters, you need a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So if we start with this part of the molecule here, the bit with the double bonded O on, this is going to come from a carboxylic acid. So which carboxylic acid provides ethanoate? Well, it's ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. This part of the ester comes from the alcohol and obviously methanol provides a methyl group. So that's CH3OH. And so we're going to make the ester CH3COOCH3 and H2O. There are a couple of conditions for that reaction. So we'll put them on as well. This needs heat and a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. We'll just finish with this one, we'll make it a little bit more complicated. So you can see this is an ester, we've got that R, C double bond O, single bond O, R group. So which carboxylic acid would we need? Well, you can see there we've got the ethanoate part, so that's going to be ethanoic acid. CH3, COOH. The alcohol, you can see here, the, the single bonded O is actually joined at carbon number two here on this carbon chain. And so the alcohol would be one, two, three, four, five, pentan ol So that's going to be CH3, CHOH, CH2. CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, CH3. We'll just have a quick look at the skeletal formula of esters. So we've got ethyl, ethanoate. So we've got the methyl group, C double bond O, single bond O, and then CH2, CH3. We'll do one more. So we've got one, two, three, four, butyl, 
one carbon methanoate, butyl methanoate. So we've just got that. There's an H there, but we don't show that on skeletal formula. So C double bond O, single bond O, and then one, two, three, four. So there's the first one. One, two, three, four. So butyl methanoate. So we'll take things up to A2 standard now by looking at how to make esters from something called an acid anhydride. So this is an acid anhydride here. And before we go into the reaction where the esters produce from this, I just want to explain where the name comes from. So if we break this down, we've got the acid is to do with carboxylic acids. Anhydride, well we come across the word anhydrous at AS. We do anhydrous salts, which are salts without any water of crystallization. So anhydride is something to do with without water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off and replace it with two acids, two carboxylic acids. So we've got two ethanoic acid molecules. And all I'm going to do is take a water molecule out of here. So I need an OH and an H. So we've got a water molecule and I'm just going to join this together. And you see what I've made. There's the original one back on the board, which is the same as that. So an acid anhydride is basically two carboxylic acids which have been joined together by the loss of a water molecule. This one, because it's made from ethanoic acid, is called ethanoic anhydride. So there you've got the name. We've got the structural formula. So it's written like this. So the common part is the CH3 C double bond O. We've got two of those. So we'll put that in a bracket. We've got this shared O. So we'll put that outside the bracket. The skeletal formula would look like that. Now, all the exam questions I've seen um, involve the ide an identical carboxylic acid being used to make the acid anhydride. You can get what's known as a mixed anhydride. So that would just be something like that. That's absolutely fine. That's possible. But the questions I've seen on this are all based on acid anhydrides that are made from identical carboxylic acids. So let's have a go at making an ester then from a, an acid anhydride. So we've got ethanoic anhydride and one, two, three, propanol, propanol. So what are we going to do? We need to break this bond here and we need to break this bond here. There's the ester, and we don't get water, we get a carboxylic acid. And which carboxylic acid will we get from ethanoic anhydride? We'll get ethanoic acid. So esters made from acid anhydrides produce an ester and a carboxylic acid. And we'll do one more. So we've got this acid anhydride. So this is methanoic anhydride and methanol. So we'll do the same again. So this is obviously the ester. You can see the ester group there. And we're going to get carboxylic acid. So you can see the ester is methyl methanoate. And because it was meth methanoic anhydride, we get methanoic acid produced as well. So there's the completed equation. And the other point I'd like to make is this type of reaction, so acid anhydride and alcohol, this one doesn't need the concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. It would still need a little bit of heat, but you don't need the catalyst.